this is by Elsa Suya. By Elsa Suya. See how big this one is. We like it a lot in by Elsa. It's a very delicious and delicious. So, so yes, you're welcome to Brave Integrated Farms Limited. We have one of our students that came for palm weevil lava production training. So we're going to introduce him to you. Sir, please, what's your name? Uh, my name is Anthony Abodi Otobo, okay. the founder and CEO of our body farms. Yeah. We are glad to have you here in a Brave Integrated Farms Limited. Thank you. We, we are so glad to teach you this uh, production of this uh, palm weevil larvae. Palm weevil larvae production is quite a very profitable one. And uh, we are glad that you came. You took your time to come to learn the basics on how to breed palm weevil larvae production. So please, can you tell us your experiences Yeah, What are your experiences in this training? Yeah, um, so far I've um, learned a lot. I thought I knew so much about uh, palm weevil, but then again, coming to Brave Farms, I've, um, so to speak, my knowledge has spiked from like 20% to 100% now. I can confidently say I can grow this, although I've not done the practical, the practical aspects. But then I can see from the knowledge I've gotten, I can do a whole lot. Uh, I know how to, I know the stages of the palm weevil from uh, the egg stage to uh, larva stage to pupa, then the adult. Uh, then I know uh, about the feed, the substrates, uh, every mixture that. Uh, goes into this and uh, the how long I'm supposed to keep it, the amount of uh, feed I need to put. I've penned all those down and so hopefully you're looking at another uh, breeder of uh, oh, palm no. weevil larvae <laughs> in the nearest future. In the future. So yes. we are we are really we are really happy. We are really happy. So will you say that palm weevil larvae farming is it hard? business is this something that is that from our teaching uh, i don't think it's a very difficult uh, form of farming because considering other forms like uh, other um, uh, types of, business. Types of agro farming business. agro business and all uh, growing for one growing cows or goats and this one is just one way in and one way out. You're, you're not necessarily required to do a whole lot. And also, uh, feasibility wise, it's, I think it should be very, very profitable because the margins are there. I've made my consultations, I've made my research and all that. So I think it's for the amount of work you need to put in, it's very minimal and what you are expected to get out of it is very high so it's something that every young bios and every young nigerian should consider going into and uh, with the likes of mr brief the sky is the limit thank you, know? you so we, the sky is limit. we really appreciate you once more yes. we really appreciate you. so please what's your advice to intending farmers you know currently a lot of people are saying that there's no job in nigeria Mm. You understand. Mm. So, what is your advice to other people that want to come into agriculture, to the upcoming youth? As we are youth, yeah, yeah. So, what is that your advice? Because a lot of people are saying that there's no work. This mm. is a work job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, farming has always been the, perhaps the first era business that uh, humans got into, and from my knowledge of business. The kind of business I like to put my money into are businesses that have lasted generations and farming is at the top of that game. You can never go wrong with farming. The risks are there. We can't take away the risk factor. But then again, farming for young people, young people need to go into farming. Any form of farming you want to do, you weigh the risks, you weigh the about. Then again, we are talking about palm weevil uh production larvae production and this is one good area you can go into even if you're working somewhere it's not something that requires your day in day out input it's a one in thing that you monitor maybe sometimes and that's it so farming is 
something every young Nigerian, every young African, every young Biosan, and Biosan, so I talk about Biosan. Biosan, we are Biosan. <laughs> every young Biosan should go into Biosan Suya production. Mm, production. Yes, this is Biosan Suya. This is Biosan Suya. Biosan Suya, see how big this one is. We like it a lot in Biosan. It's a very delicious and nutritious. Mm. So, so we can... Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate you for coming to us to learn. One thing is for you to acquire knowledge, and the other one is for you to experiment. You coming alone to learn, you paid for the training. You, you, there is a lot of things you can use your money to do, but you decide to pay for knowledge, to acquire knowledge. As you rightly said, it is knowledge that gives money. And I really appreciate you as a, a young person that has a zeal in agriculture. We are Brave Integrated Farms Limited. We try our possible best to guide you through this your journey. You have uh, started with us. Then in the next two, two, let's say in the next three to four months, I believe that you should do your own harvest of the palm weevil. Mm -hmm. So you have heard from him. Our trainings are very easy to understand. We came for the practical training, which we have done. So our trainings are very easy to understand. So thank you very much, sir. So sir, please, what's your name again? Anthony Abodi Otobo. Anthony Abodi Otobo. We are glad to have you, sir. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you.